Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial today, we are going to be learning how to use novel AI image generation, which is a tool that allows you to generate unique and high quality images using artificial intelligence. It is important to note that novel AI image generation is so powerful so that you are able to create unique and interesting images. So in this tutorial, we are going to do a step-by-step -step way of doing it, but you need to notice about the pricing. You click on pricing first, we see about the pricing. You notice that the novel AI has three packages. We have the free trial, but with the free trial, you need to know that you cannot generate an image. But we also have the tablet that goes for $10 per month. We have scroll that goes for $15 per month. And we have the opus that goes for $25 US per month. Each one of these, as the price increases, has more access tools. But for this tutorial, we cannot use free tutorial because it will not generate an image. So you need a subscription from at least tablet going onwards. To generate a unique image for your use, you will simply scroll and come up on this page at the top here, and then you log in. So you now log in with the account with which you have made a subscription. And once you do that, you will come to this page. To create an image or to generate an image, you will simply click on new story here. Now you notice we can do at least three things so far. We have the storyteller, which is an empty canvas for your imagination that lets the AI create a story with you. Then we have the text adventure that lets the AI tell a story using your words and action. In this tutorial, however, our interest is on image generation. So you click on image generation so that you are able to get a masterpiece image for yourself. So once you click that, it comes to this page. Now you notice this page has a few items and we are going to be discussing one by one as we use them. Let us begin with prompt. Now here, for prompt, you write your prompt here using tags to sculpt your outputs. For instance, I can write kitten. If I need an image of a kitten, maybe I can write kitten, then I'll basically be writing the images of whatever I need. In this case, let me just use old man. Old man seated. You can use any cues that you feel can help you. If you notice, you start getting suggestions here. Did you mean sitting? Sitting on person or old man? So if, for instance, my keyword is old man. You notice it's also here. Sitting, sitting is here. So sitting on an object, mine is sitting on a bench. So I still stick to mine to get as close as possible to the image that I need. The next thing you can add is a base image, which is optional, which basically will act as a reference of the image that you need. The next thing that we can change here is the image settings. So you notice here, if I click on this drop down button, I'll get all these image settings. So you only choose one, but you can also customize here. So in this case, let me just choose portrait, normal portrait, that is. Then you can always change these dimensions here. This is editable. If I write 500, that becomes 500, even 5,000. So let me take it back to 512 so that I can have the right dimensions for a portrait. Then down here, you notice we have number of images, which is exactly that. How many images do you want to generate? So if you want one image, it's simple. You just click one and you notice if we click up here, down here, it changes to generate one image. Let me click four. You notice down here, it has also changed to generate four images. But in our case, let's just generate one for demonstration purposes. So I simply click on one. <clears throat> Once I'm satisfied with the description, uh, maybe one thing I needed to notice was for this part, the undesired content, it's what you would want to remove from your generation. So once you have your image generated, 
you can come back here and type what you don't want on that image. So once I'm satisfied with the description, in this case, I don't have any undesired content. You simply click on generate one image. So you notice here, the novel AI is working in the background and there it is. It has generated the image of an old man seated on a bench. And that is so fast and so accurate. Now, just done by AI, novel AI. So if you need anything to do with this image, after you have you previewed this image as we are doing, you can always edit this image. Up here, we have these tools. We have enhance. We have generate variations. We have upscale. Then we have use a base image, which we already explained. And then we have edit image. Let's begin with enhance. So if I click on enhance, I get a chance to enhance this image. Down here, you notice now I have upscale amount, strength, and noise. So I can now adjust this depending on what I want to do with my image. So I can increase the noise or reduce the noise. But in this case, I do not want uh, to change anything in terms of enhancing this image. So I simply click back. So I go to my original image. If I needed to, uh, let's say, edit the image, I simply click on edit image. So it now takes me to this place where I can edit. And you notice down here, we have the edit tools. And we also have the undo and the redo buttons down here. And we can also put it on full screen. So if, for instance, let me use the first one. If I click on that, that's a pen to draw. Then I come to the image. I can draw on that image. So that is how you do it. Let me uh, undo that. So if maybe I wanted to make something, the calf of this one to be black, I can simply come and make his calf black like that. Maybe I need the other calf to also be black. I can simply edit it like that. Maybe I needed to make his hair black also. Again, I can still do the same until when I'll be satisfied that the image is exactly what maybe I could have wanted. So in this case, uh, I'm just demonstrating. So let's say we have that. doesn't look so nice anyway. So if I'm satisfied with the changes, I click on save and close. But if I want to go back to the original image, I click on this X here. And in this case, that's what I want because I don't want to save the changes that I have made on my image so far. So I simply click on that and it takes me back to the original image. So if now I need to use this image, I will need to save it outside Novel AI and use it maybe in Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator, wherever I want to use this image. So to download this image, you have two options. The first way, you come down here and then you can copy to clipboard. If I click on copy to clipboard, you notice up here, image copied to clipboard. Then I can now paste it wherever I could have wanted, including in a Word document, in an Excel sheet, wherever I could have wanted it. Next, I can download the image using this download image button. If I click that just once, the image automatically downloads. Just check this. And there we have it. It has actually downloaded twice. Old man seated. Let me see the image now. I simply open. So if we open the image, here is the image. We have opened the image and here is the image generated using Novel AI. And so that is how you use Novel AI to generate images. However, it is important to respect the copyright laws. Ensure that you have the necessary permissions to use any images you generate from Novel AI. That is it for this tutorial. Kindly like our video, share and subscribe.